Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are briefly going to discuss about 10 different coats of arms in the Hart family. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services at our website. Please visit the link in our description. We are typically able to trace your family's ancestry back several hundred years and determine whether or not they owned a coat of arms. The first Hart coat of arms to discuss is blazoned per Chevron, Azure, and Gules three hearts trippant or crest, a lion's head cooped ermine ducally crowned or, although it's shown Gules here. This coat of arms was borne by Hart of Lullingstone Castle in County Kent, who descended from John Hart Esquire and his son, Sir Percival Hart, a knight harbinger, born 1496, who descended from Stephen Hart of Westmill in County Hereford, who lived in the 11th and 12th centuries, I believe. And a knight harbinger, he was a knight harbinger to several, I believe two kings and two queens. And he was responsible for um, taking care of guests, taking care of their accommodations, and taking care of the accommodations of folks who traveled with the monarch. And here we see him in effigy. And here we see the gatehouse of Lullingstone Castle. And Lullingstone Castle itself. And Anne, the, the mother of Sir Percival. Next is a similar coat of arms, per chevron, azure, and gules, in chief, two bucks, drinking argent, attired or, in base, a well of the third. This was born by Nicholas Hart of London, who we know was alive in the year 1634. He was the seventh son of William Hart of Darford, Kent, and Anne Brown of Essex. Sable, a chevron argent between three fleur de lis or. This was granted to Sir John Hart, the Lord Mayor of London, in 1589. He was a grocer and merchant who was one of the principal founders of the East India Company. Gules, a fess between three fleur de lis argent, born by John Hart, who died in the year 1572 who was the Chester Herald, an English educator and grammarian and spelling reformer. Gules a bend between three fleur de lis argent quartering prouse, sable three lions rampant argent legued and armed gules, crest a fleur de lis argent issuing from a cloud proper. This was born by the Hart family of Yarnscombe in Devonshire, England, who were anciently spelled de la Hart. They descended from Reverend Samuel Hart, vicar of Crediton in County Devon, who was born in 1719. And they in turn descended from Samuel Hart of Yarnscombe, who lived in the 1600s. Gules, a fess ermine between three fleur de lis or. Now, this, this shouldn't say Nuremberg here. That shouldn't say that. This was recorded in the funeral entry of Captain Pierce Hart, who died in the year 1664, buried in Dublin, Ireland. Argent on a bend between three fleur de lis gules, crest, a hard inflamed issuant out of a castle, triple towered argent. And this was borne by the hearts of Kildare in. County Dungal, Ireland. General George von Hart, von Hart, born 1652, served with the 46th Regiment of Foot during the American War of Independence. He moved to India 
where he took battle took part in the battles of Saring, Apatum, and Bangalore. He was also a member of Parliament and the governor of Londonderry. He was the son of Reverend Edward Hart and the grandson of Colonel George Hart and the great grandson of Colonel Henry Hart, born 1651. Here we see an oil painting of Colonel George Hart. Gules on a chief argent, three hearts of the first. Crest, a dexter arm grasping a scimitar proper. Allowed to Alexander Hart of Baltully, County Fife, Scotland, in 1773. Said to be descendant of Robert Hart, a valiant man who was killed with Lord Douglas fighting against the English at the Battle of Otterburn in 1388. We know the Harts were a family of Edinburgh merchants. Next is Gules on a Chief Indented Ore, Three Human Hearts of the First. And all I know about this was it was associated with a heart individual or family in London. I wasn't able to ascertain who. If you know, please let us know in the comments. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, there are more. Argent, three lozenges azure, each charged with an escalop ore. Crest, a stag's head erased with an oak branch in the mouth all proper. And this was born by the Hearts of Boston in Lincolnshire, England. And it was born by Reverend William Hart, Vicar of Walpole, in Norfolk in the year 1726. If you enjoyed this video, would like to learn who your ancestors were, and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com. We offer genealogy and ancestral research services, merchandise such as t-shirts, mugs, posters, and canvas prints, as well as over 30,000 high-resolution JPEG coats of arms for $13.99 each. Thank you very much.